Hey guys, on today's video I want to talk about a custom screen that I've been working on. This screen was quite interesting because this machine is uh, pretty interesting uh, in itself. It's a MCO VMC 100. Uh, this machine is about the size of a SIG Mini Mill, the X2. Uh, the travels are about 4 inches by 8 inches. Uh, this is a very high quality, very well built uh, CNC machine and it's quite unique. Now the control cabinet for this machine is a, just about as big as the machine itself if not bigger. I think these machines were built uh, in the mid 80's and they're pretty popular nowadays uh, for retrofitting and upgrading. Now one of the unique features about this machine is the mechanical tool change carousel that it has. It has a 10 position carousel and each of the tools are fixed into the carousel. And so how it works is it mechanically will release the tool and lift up and then this gear here which is actually the top of the spindle will engage into the carousel and the spindle is used to rotate the turret to the next tool position. I found the whole process fairly interesting you can kind of see another view here it has four sensors built into it uh, this sensor one is uh, the index sensor to let you know that uh, carousel position one is actually lined up with the spindle so I guess a homing sensor uh, sensor two here is a count so it can keep track of which position it's in sensor three here is uh, to let you know that the turret is engaged with the spindle and four back here is when the carousel is in a position where it can rotate very interesting um, I just finished this screen up it hasn't really been tested uh, the gentleman I did the screen for is in the process of converting his machine currently <clears throat> but I did finish up the screen based upon his input let's just kind of take a look at it so here is the ATC screen. I tried to represent the carousel graphically here. Now rather than just have positions 1 through 10 and use those tool numbers only, uh, I have incorporated my DROs here so that you could swap these tools out and have a different tool number. So. You can use any tool number up to tool 99. Here we have tool 11 in position 1. Uh, so I think that's quite unique. And I do know that these, you can just swap these tools out. Although they are fixed in there, they are, you do have the ability to swap these tools out with this machine. So I thought that would be nice to have the ability to use any tool number. Uh, we have our inputs here for indexed, our count sensor, uh, the tool is secure position, and the turret is engaged position. So let's take a look at the setup screen real quick. So I tried to get everything set up here so that you can see uh, what's going on. So with, with the tool change, we want to have our spindle RPM. This is the uh, speed in which the spindle will rotate the carousel. We've got our tool change position for our X and Y location. So we want to be able to move the table out of the way in order to change a tool. We can do that. Simply enter the location in here. Jog it to where you want it to be hit the set button and it will go out and get this information in G53 coordinates 
and update these two DROs. Uh, same for the two positions here, position three and position four. We want to jog the z-axis up until the sensor three is made and then hit the set button and then sensor four is made and hit this set button. Uh, you can see how this is kind of graphically represented when the turret is at position uh, three and it is engaged you can see that uh, the tool can rotate freely. Now I built this macro so that the carousel will rotate in the shortest distance so if we are currently in position one and we want to go to say nine it will go in this direction or if we want to go to say five it will go in uh, rotate in a counterclockwise direction and if we want to go to nine it will rotate in a clockwise direction uh, it took me a while to get all of these macros written because this is completely different having to use the spindle versus um, using a uh, stepper motor or a servo motor to rotate the carousel but I think we got it figured out uh, it just needs to do some testing but it was a pretty interesting screen to build so I thought I would share this with you uh, it looks like I'm going to be having some other custom screens in the future here shortly uh, some pretty unique stuff so stay tuned for that and I'll share those with you when I get those uh, finished thanks for watching the videos guys if you have any questions or suggestions please feel free to comment if you have a custom screen of your own that you would like me to work on uh, shoot me an email and uh, we can discuss that please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not thumbs up if you like the video thanks for watching and most importantly be safe